folks. Today I'm going to show you how to use the Dolphin emulator to connect with the Visual Boy Advanced M emulator to play the GameCube game Pokemon Box for Ruby and Sapphire. Um, now there's not really a need to do this because you're just basically playing the Game Boy Advance game on your TV through this, but figured might as well show you because this used to not work and it is working with, these not work with Dolphin, I mean, and it is working now. It's been working for a while, but um, just now getting around to redoing a video showing it working. I think I've done a video of it not working, showing what, where it messed up at before, but the awesome devs have fixed that problem. So let me first show you this, the Dolphin Wiki. I like to refer to this for any of these um, games you have to link up to VBM or VBAM. So you got instructions for it to do it. I know it's for the different game, but it works for pretty much all the games. At the end, you have to kind of tweak it a little bit. Um, <clears throat> one thing to note here, you will need to do this. It says you may need to install the dump version of DSPLLE. Try this if both Dolphin and VBAM freeze when VBAM is started up. So put this link in the description. You need to either dump it off your own system or find a link on Google. I can't attach any of those myself because it includes copyright and Nintendo content on it. Um, anyways, once you go through the process, once you have the files, there's two of them called DSP underscore coef dot bin and DSP underscore ron dot bin. You need to slap those, copy, paste, download them um, from whatever you want to do with them and put them in your documents. Let's see, it's my document slash dolphin emulator slash GC. Just put them right in there. And then you'll need to go to Dolphin. Let me slide this out of the way. Go to audio under configuration, DSP, LLE, or you can probably then use those dumped files and you won't get the freezes. So first of all, we need to do some configuring. Um, we'll do it on VBA M side first. So you wanna go emulation, uncheck, pause when inactive. See, that's gone. Then head over to right here, Options, Game Boy Fans, Configure, Boot ROM. You'll need to find GBA underscore Biles .bin. Um, You can either dump that from your own Game Boy Advance. There's a link to the process to do that or find it online. I can't, once again, I cannot link to this file as it includes copyright Nintendo content. So we hit OK there, shows up, hit OK. Then we'll go over to options again, Game Boy Advance, and tell it to use the BIOS file. Then we'll go options, link, type GameCube, back to options, link, hit local mode, options, link, hit link at boot. Um, I'm going to close it. That'll save the settings for GBA, or oh, we'll call it GBA, VBA, M. Let's see. It's going to open it up, but first, before I open it, close it real quick. I want to show some configuration over here for Dolphin controllers. So some these games that link up to your um, GBA or the VBA-M emulator, some of them require port 4, some require port 2. This one requires port 2, so I'll set that to GBA. And I'm using the, game, the Nintendo Wii U uh, GameCube adapter. So I can use an actual GameCube controller with the emulator. So I got that set for port one. So if you're using a, like an Xbox 360 controller, hit standard controller um, or keyboard, whatever you want to use, configure those. You don't have to configure anything for GBA in here. So hit close. We'll boot this up. Let me give it a minute while it's doing that. I'm going to open up VBA M just to get it ready. You hear that ding? This is a joy bus error. When you open this up, ignore it, hit OK. So over here we got Pokemon Box, Ruby and Sapphire. So I'm gonna hit start. You can go to Pokemon Box or to Adventure, we'll go to Adventure. This is where you can actually play it. So it says please connect it to Controller Socket 2 and da, 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 insert the Pokemon Ruby or Sapphire game into the game board. Okay, so we already got it con connected there. We just need to go here open. You can do Ruby or Sapphire. We'll just do Ruby. So 
sometimes this will hang and it'll make, ring, 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 and make some horrible sounds. Yeah, there's that stupid thing. The dumper. So, and it's confirming connection. It says, please wait. Hold on real quick while it's doing that. Do, 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 do. Configure. This thing is too loud. All right, so I'll give it a minute here. It says, okay, you can now turn your Game Boy Advance system off. Please do not unplug it, though, from the link cable. So we'll just hit A. And here we go. It's booting up Pokemon Ruby. And that's just, like I said, a way you can play it on your TV. So you can play it on the big screen if you want to. You know, this is... I'm talking about not through the emulator, but if you had the actual game, if you're gonna if you're gonna play this game, there's really no point in playing it in Dolphin. This is just more of a proof of concept that Dolphin emulator has got this coded up to to work with this, so it's just kind of a cool thing. Uh, if you're gonna play this game, I just recommend just playing it straight over here on VBAM. But let's see. So we'll start this up. The Z button. You can take pictures. You can tell it to quit. Whatever. We'll just uh, boot into the game here real quick. Hi, I'm Professor Whistle's face. So you boy or girl? So yeah, you can see it's. Huh. Let me uh. I didn't actually test this far into it earlier. Let me see. Let me see if there's a way we can fix that. Maybe if we go to real. No, that'll fix a lot of games that have those kind of issues. Virtual doesn't work either. Sometimes doing this, aha, set the accuracy in the middle there. Let me get this back out of the way. So there we go. Everyone calls me Ms. Birch, the professor. As you can see up here, the game's running around about 60 frames a second. Sometimes they don't you know, dip a frame or two, but you can't really, you can't really tell. Unless the audio starts getting crappy sim, and then, then you can definitely tell. But... <clears throat> Let's see. So, this isn't really needed any longer. We'll just downsize that. And we'll go into full screen. I hope this doesn't screw it up with the way I'm uh, recording the screen here. Okay, get the mouse out of the way. Since you're a boy or a girl. Okay, what's your name? Sure, I'm Landon. Whatever. Okay. Ba -boom, ba -boom, boom. And just so you know, um, earlier the uh, main menu for this game is to go to Adventure, or the top one was go to Pokemon Box, and you can go, you can click go to Pokemon Box, and then it'll tell you to you know connect to your Game Boy Advance, and you can do all that, but it'll say you need to go to a Pokemon Center, and I'm not exactly sure what that does, but it seems to be working. So, whatever feature that is, I've, I've never really played this game before th through the, the Pokemon Box version. I've played it through the Game Boy Advance, though. I'm a sucker for these Pokemon games. Landon, we're here, honey. It must be... Uh, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Little Root Town, new home. Yeah, it's a nice place. I got my own room. So let's just see what happens when I take a picture. Let's uh, do that. And then different things. So it doesn't look like the picture actually works. I don't think. Let's see. Nah. So yeah, that feature doesn't seem to be working. I mean, maybe it does to set some other setting, but I don't really care. You can take your own screenshots if you're playing on this emulator if you want. It's just as easy. Hey look, it's a GameCube. Okay, let's look at this book real quick. Adventure rules, yep, yep, yep. Okay, let's get out of here. And let's see, go set the clock up. Yeah, I wasn't paying attention to what she said earlier. Okay, it stopped. Let's see. Set it to whatever that is. About 10, 10 almost. Okay, how do you like your new room? Okay, everything's put away. Finish, we went downstairs. Move the convenient, blah, blah, blah. All right, 
Someone's trying to talk to me. Something's happening on the telly. Gym battle, maybe. Something's going on at the gym. It's over. Her dad was on investment too bad. Let's go Professor Burge. Go talk to him. Yeah, I know I don't really have to talk through this, but... Let's see. Uh, is Burge below me? This is his house. I think I have to go to the lab and see what she has to say. Hello, you are... Oh, you're landing. Okay, hi. I wonder if I, uh... See, it's still kind of flashing a little bit. I don't even know if this is still recording right, but... Let me open up the config. No, nope, not that one. The graphics config. Move it all the way over. Uh -huh, yeah. Should have done that earlier. Should have tried it out, but it looked like it was working fine before. Okay, this might be one of the games where you actually need to go meet them on the, the path, the trail, instead of coming here. Yeah, it is. I just want to play this up until I get to use the Pokemon and have a battle, just to see how it how it behaves on here. Okay, there's that little pit scooby. If you go in the tall grass, the Pokemon will appear. It's not safe. Really? Okay. Did I miss something here? I guess I should have paid more attention to what they were saying. Let me talk to this dude. Huh? Percy Birch? Percy Slay Fieldwork? He's not here. Let me explain what Fieldwork is. Blah, blah, blah. Alright. So, maybe I just need to talk to the lab grunt first. So we'll head back up this way. No. Maybe I need to go talk to my man. Maybe I should have went upstairs in Birch's house, I don't remember. It's the daughter up here. Is that what's going on? Yeah, I'm sure you guys think I'm a total noob with these games. It's just that each one, the beginning games, these early Pokemon games, they vary ever so slightly what you have to do to, to start. And, I don't remember what this is. It's been way too long since I played this game. And I'm not really, since I'm talking and trying to set up the emulator and everything, I'm not really paying attention to any of the words they're saying like I normally would. But now I think I can go out. A little nerd's not gonna be blocking my path. Well, he is, but he's gonna let me go by. Yep, they're shouting what to do. Someone's gotta help, help me. All right. So he's going to tell me to look in his bag, Pokeball, so here's where you get to choose your starter. No, maybe, okay, yeah. What does it say? Chick Pokemon and the Torch. Okay. So, we'll just see how the battles look on here real quick. Okay, go, watch it. Fight, scratch, go ahead and beat him up. Yeah, the game's working pretty good though. Pretty good. Looks pretty nice too. The text is nice and smooth. Okay. Let's see what happens here real quick. Well, we're gonna go ahead and end it there, folks. Thank you for watching. Hope you learned something here. If you wanna play it like this, you can. It works great if you set Dolphin Emulator up correctly. Once again, if you kind of scroll through this video, I just came here to the end. Go to graphics hacks, set your texture cache accuracy to safe. So you set it to fast, it doesn't seem to work as well. I'll put it back on fast just because I'm done with this game and you need to set it to that for normal games. But alright folks, we'll see you on another video. Bye bye now.